So it's 6.30 a.m. I'm in the mountains in Ella in Sri Lanka and I'm going to see the Nine Arts Bridge just walking along the railway tracks at the moment. Most people come here for the 9.20 a.m. train but I want to come here at half six because hopefully there'll be nobody here and enjoy it more. And here it is. There's already other people being beaten to the punch. So it's probably one of the most famous tourist attractions in Sri Lanka. In terms of logistics, it's about a 15 minute tuk-tuk drive outside of Ella. Um, I've paid one and a half thousand for somebody to take me here, wait for a couple of hours and take me back. I don't know if that's a good price. I think it's reasonably fair, it's like six quid. Trivia, it was built in 1921, mainly by Sri Lankan builders and engineers alongside the British. So it's actually just celebrated its centenary, which is quite cool. Apparently very little metal was used, so it's mainly stone and cement, if that's of interest to anybody. But it's got some really cool, um, I don't know what they're called, just holes in the arches. Obviously there's nine arches. It's the nine arch bridge. And down here, you just have tea. Oh, it's very pretty. That sun is going to just hit it nicely. Well, like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun or more literally too close to a tree. The drone is no more. That sucks. But I feel sorry for a couple that ran down here um, and they missed the train. So there was a train at about quarter to seven. So if you want to see a train, get down here early. It passed them as they were walking along the train tracks, which um, I felt really bad for them. They're leaving this evening, so they can't make it for another train unless they come down here for the 20 past nine train. But it's very nice here. It's very nice. I think that, I think the colours and if you want to take photos, it's probably nicer here 
at nine o'clock, but there's going to be loads of people, so come early. As per usual, just get up early. Have the place to yourself. Very good. So whilst I'm in Ella, I'm going to do Little Adam's Peak for sunrise. The sunrise this morning was genuinely one of the best ones I've ever seen. And then I'll do, so I'll do sunrise, so I'll do Little Adam's Peak for sunrise tomorrow. And then I'll do, no, sorry, that's completely wrong. I'm going to do Ella Rock for sunrise because you can see it coming over Little Adam's Peak. And then I will do Little Adam's Peak for sunset. And then I'm off to Noara Elia and then Candy and then Sigiria to see all of the places. Very much looking forward to it. It's very cool here. I mean, I've been in Ella for all of 14 hours and I really like it. It's really peaceful and you're in the mountains, the sun sort of hits the hills in a different way. You get sort of mist or clouds in the morning. Well, I did this morning. It's only one morning, but I am definitely looking forward to going up Ella Rock tomorrow morning and for Little Adam's Peak as well. It makes a nice change from just surfing and the beach and as much as I love surfing, it is nice to get away from it and to go and experience more of the country. Now I just have to figure out how to replace the drone or fix it quickly because I'm going to Sigiria, going to Noir Elia, Candy and it would be really useful to have it. No! <laughs> ah, where do I, how do I get back up? I need to figure that one out. Bye bye.